Every year on Good Friday, Christians gather to follow the way of the cross, a journey believed to follow the full steps of Jesus' suffering and final death on the cross. Not even the morning downpour could stand in the way of the devoted Christians from following the way of the cross. Here in Kampala, hundreds of Christians from the Catholic, Anglican and Orthodox denominations joined in the public way of the cross organized by the Uganda Joint Christian Council. Catholics were led by the Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese, Dr. Cyprian Kizitorwanga. The Archbishop of the Uganda Orthodox Church, John Alwanga, led his flock. The Church of Uganda Archbishop Stanley Ntagali, who is also the chairman of the Uganda Joint Christian Council, led the Anglican believers. Notable political figures also followed the way of the cross. Key among them was the Kalungu West MP Joseph Sewungu, the UPC party president Olara Otunu, and former DP leader Paul Kawanga Semogedede, to mention but a few. This is a day in which um, I just come here as a simple believer, as a Christian, joining fellow Christians, leaving behind all other issues, politics and other things. And it's a wonderful thing to fellowship with others. And on this day, particularly the beginning of uh, the Passion of Christ. The crowds of believers later gathered at Nachivuwa Stadium for a joint prayer. This service took into consideration the needs of people with disabilities. In fact, the first reading was taken by a blind woman. Be completely united with only one thought and one purpose. This year's Way of the Cross has been held under the theme, Has Christ Been Divided? It is upon this that the main preacher, Metropolitan John Alwanga, called for unity of all people, as taught by Jesus' example, who is one with the Father. To this modern age, especially we here now, how this question relates to us, our Lord Jesus Christ, his suffering because of our salvation, and not only salvation of human beings, but of all creation. Christ has never been divided and will also never be divided. He is indeed one. It is you and I that have come closer and work together. We should keep united and our unity should be demonstrated in our daily lives so that when we go as individuals, as families, as members of our communities and members of this great city of Kampala, we are united. Christians also prayed for electoral reforms as well as peace and justice to prevail in the country. In Masaka, the Catholic bishop and his Anglican counterpart led believers in the way of the cross amidst the early morning rains. Uh, if we see the effects of abortions, incredible effects. Women are traumatized and many have died in the course of abortion because of lack loss of, of, of blood. The Catholic Bishop of Masaka Diocese, John Baptist Kagwa, criticized the government for promoting the use of contraceptives and abortion, which he says are against God's plan for mankind. Gertrude Tumusime Witkwari, NTV.